everyone, David Bayless here, up for another set of tech tips for you on your BC300. Look, there's not a lot to go through. We've never actually had one of these come back. Very simple to install. Just goes straight onto your battery, connects up to the little comm link. This plugs into the back of our power management system where you'll see the data connection and away you go. It'll start detecting it straight away. All right, so from an installation, this is how it works. Step one, disconnect what's going on on your battery already. So take everything off your positive terminal and off your negative terminal. Obviously keep them separate so we don't get any sparks or anything else like that going on. You're then gonna connect this end here that doesn't have the lead on it of the BC300 down onto your battery. Now you're gonna connect it to the negative terminal. Make sure you're on the negative terminal. Next step, this now becomes your new negative terminal. So screw your negative terminals, such as your inverter or whatever it may be, into this end here. In between here, we have a shunt, and that's measuring all of our voltage and our current, which is passing between these two points. Okay, now, before you wire up the positive, we're gonna grab the comm link. From the comm link side here, we've got two data connection points. This runs in series with the CAN bus connection, that you'll already have with your power management system. So plug this end into your BP35 or your J35, remove your other connecting cable and plug it directly in here into your comm link. From a pairing perspective, really, really simple, is that what you'll do is when you press the button in the back of the comm link, it'll start flashing a light here on the other side. Now, what you've got to do once you've done that is you now finish the connection on the BC300. Wire this separate connection in here wire that across to your positive terminal, nice and firmly. Then once you're done, this will start flashing as well. With the two lights flashing, they'll pair together and then they'll both turn to a solid color. That means you've got a good connection. You, both units are paired to each other. It's as simple as that. You're not likely to have any problems with it, but if you do, just disconnect everything and go through that pairing process all over again. It takes you a couple of minutes in which to be able to do but you shouldn't come unstuck. It's a pretty simple process. All right, thanks for that. See you next time.